they're, they're called dewberries. They do it. Okay, let's go see where the blackberries are. So we were looking over here. Well, and there's definitely blackberries. some blackberries going on, some wild blackberries over here. Let's go find over. Let's find where you saw. I found them right here. <gasps> Look! Another blackberry! Let's see. Right here. Is it Is good? It Tastes like a blackberry to me. What does it taste like? Bad. Blackberry. Do black yeah, is there so many poison? Try it. Well, let's, no, let's wait and let's just eat the black ones that we find. There look at these. There oh, look at these flowers I even got. Black one. I know, that is. That black one. Yep. Yeah. Why are they cold? Hmm. They they're, they're just called, I think they're called dewberries. We can wait and we can pick some of these to, tomorrow and we can bring some home to mom. That she would be so surprised and happy. Yeah. She would be. Bigger. Ollie, do you see all of these red blackberries? Yeah. Those are all going to soon turn black. Look at this one. Yeah. Black. These are one. They're so cool. In permaculture, you're supposed to observe before you do any kind of earthworks or really to put anything permanent down. We are not going to have a lot of time to do that. I'm going to try to capitalize on as much opportunity whenever I am here before we do the earthworks. So we're walking. Up there is where our campsite and where our house is going to be. So we're walking down to the pond. So right here, just this is really for a marker for me. That's where there's a cross fence right here for our neighbor. This is a little low part. And this is some puddles, a puddle of water right here. So, just to know that this is a very low spot that does hold water. Oh, all this is low spots over here that's holding water. So I believe if we wanted to, we could raise it up around here and dig a little pocket pond uh, from the swales because it's a low spot anyway. Dennis, Dennis, it's, a swale. it's not a swale, buddy, but it's kind of like it. I know, this is the biggest it's ever been, huh? Yeah, we've had a lot of rain. Tide is this big. The tide? Yeah, yeah it's low now tide. This big. Low tide is low tide. And high tide is high tide. But it's now low tide. See? No, it's but we'll now, do on this side. No, it's now whole it's tide. This. No, it's now high tide. Low tide is low tide, and high tide is what tide? It is low tide, and high tide is high tide. Okay. And we don't know if there are sea snakes in there. I'm not worried about sea snakes. I'm worried about water moccasin snakes, yeah, which is too. also called a cotton mouth. There are giant mm. snakes. If you it's like get... a pond. It's like the long as a pond. Mm. That float. Well, it's good to know that in drought, this pond is completely dry. It is very dry, just nothing in there. But in, in the rainy season, it's a tank. It holds water, um, so it's not terrible. So that's good to know. It said there are, there's also blackberries over here. Really good. I like camping. Can I have one? Uh, you can have this one. You like camping? Yeah. Daddy. Why? Because there's blackberries. <laughs> blackberry. Blackberry. Tastes like blackberry. Okay, so Everett, this right here, this one, if we clean out under there, that could be a really good tree house, tree, and it could be a good swinging tree also. That this, do you know how small your backyard is at home? 
Did you know that this is going to be your backyard? You mean the pool? This is your backyard now. We're going to have a pool at our backyard. There's going to be a pond. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to have our backyard's going to have a, we'll be able to fish in our backyard. It will be the best day ever we live here. Dude, you're going to live here. This is going to be your house. Like, we're going to have a house here, and this is going to be all of your land. Can't wait. There's lots of work to do out here, that's for sure. What? Yeah. They're called dewberries. They do it. I'm going to try to make a fire with flint. Done it a couple of times before. I also have a lighter. I promise if I fail at this, I will admit that I use a lighter. I just have paper, so. So it would be. So this is by far the easiest flint that you could ever do. All right. What's that, Dad? This is dryer lint. So whenever we use our dryer, we always keep the dryer lint for the compost or for camping like this. Oh no. This is trying to make fire out of nothing. Okay, so you're gonna take it like this and you're gonna scrape. I don't see fire in this. There's no fire. So what you do is you scrape off this. All you see see all that metal stuff right there? Yeah. yeah. But what about the knife part? I'll show you, hold on. You scrape off the metal. You see all that right there? So all that metal stuff in there. That's the flint. I'm gonna put on some gloves because sometimes this comes goes pretty fast. And then it should make a spark and light it right away. Okay, so back away. Back away. Okay, you ready? No, come over, come over, come behind me. Oh, do you see that spark? Yeah. Found it. Found it. Found it. Oh, there we go. Oh. Fire. Yeah. You made, you made it burn. It smells like s'mores. Well, it smells. There we go. So that's on fire. <gasps> now it's going on fire. It's a very wet day, so but hopefully. Shh. Okay, okay, don't blow too much, buddy. We have a fire. <gasps> Person. They got it. No, that purple to take a picture. I know, I gotta get my hot dog. You can't do hot dog if you don't have a hot dog for the dad. Dad. You know what I mean? No. You can't even eat my hot dog. It tastes like. Butter. Mm. 
Does your steak like Wait, butter? Wait, your hot dog will be the same. You might eat a lot. Right here. Yeah, no, no, no. They're smushed. They're a little smushed. You sat on them? They smushed them. They smushed them. Sorry, guys, smushed one These of them. These are hot dog pancakes now, man. <laughs> hot dog pancakes. <laughs> That's a funny joke, Dad. It's not a joke. Hot, hot dog. dog pancakes. No! Hot, hot dog. dog.